The Honda Jazz has always been something of a TARDIS in the Super Mini market. Its exterior size is pretty standard for the class, yet opening the door reveals a frankly cavernous interior. It's this unrivaled level of practicality in the Super Mini segment that has enabled Honda to sell more than 7 million examples of the Jazz since the model was first launched back in 2001. This emphasis on spaciousness has been carried over with this, the facelifted, 2018 model year variant. In the past, the Jazz has stereotypically been the reserve of, erm, more mature drivers, but Honda has treated this updated version to a range of sporty exterior tweaks and what we can only imagine is an attempt to make it more appealing to the youth. That means gloss black 16 and alloys and contrast stitching in the cabin, among other changes. The most notable update, though, is the availability of a 1.5-liter iVTEC petrol engine, which was under the bonnet of the car we sampled. Despite Honda's best attempts to pitch the revised Jazz as a more sporting option in the super mini market, the reality is that rival offerings continue to outshine the Japanese contender dynamically. It rides well with its McPherson front struts and rear torsion beam suspension ironing out pockmarked road surfaces, but there's noticeable roll through the bends and the electromechanically assisted steering is largely devoid of feeling. A Ford Fiesta, Cita Visa, or even a Volkswagen Polo would all be more fun on a windy stretch of road. The 1.5-liter iVTEC engine is also a bit of a sticking point. It's not that it feels underpowered, there is 128 bhp and 114 pounds foot of torque on tap, after all, but by god, does it make itself heard when you press on. That lump of torque is also found at 4600 revolutions per minute, meaning you really need to work the 6-speed manual gearbox to keep it on the boil. Be warned, your ears won't thank you for doing so, either. That's not to say that the Jazz is without any redeeming features, though. While the Japanese Super Money may not be renowned for its dynamic abilities, it has always impressed with its superior levels of interior space and practicality, and this is a theme that's continued in this latest model. Given the Jazz's relatively small size, it's a shade under 4 meters long, the cabin feels enormous, particularly in the back. Rear passengers will find a huge amount of legroom, even when sat behind a taller driver, and the Honda's boxy shape means there's a commendable amount of headroom, too. Boot space, meanwhile, comes in at 354 liters, that's more than a Polo or an Avisa, with the seats up, and can be extended to 897 liters with them folded down. What the cabin won't do is blow you away with its material richness, it's all scratchy plastics here, but at least it feels like it'll stand up to any abuse that young children might, read, will, level at it. Our test model came with contrasting red stitching on the seats, too, which helped add a touch of flair to an otherwise largely drab space. Chunky controls for the heating and ventilation are within easy reach of the driver, as is Honda's aging connecting flotainment system, which isn't particularly responsive, and is further let down by dated graphics. Mirror link is available, though, which allows you to, well, mirror the screen of a compatible device such as a smartphone, on the 7.0 in display.